What's up, everybody? Crypto Muscle coming back to you with another YouTube video. And yes, internationally renowned and internationally syndicated all around the world. Oh, yeah. And so, with this, I wanted to just talk about some of the stuff that's been going on in the past you know, day. <laughs> I mean, the biggest news is the, the whole Ether chain thing right and uh i wanted to further add more information about the whole ether chain thing so going right into it obviously it's nothing there right drained to now zero balance in the contract and so to further enhance that oh yeah by the way here's another trash coming but uh before i do that let me just uh look for you know what before i do that here's an here's one that's coming you know it's a copy of ethereum gold anybody that's copied ethereum gold hasn't succeeded so what makes this any different uh to me nothing because you can always make the argument well it's the same thing as ethereum gold just like how ether chain and tron chain it's the same thing you offer one percent a day 310 days but look at it ether chain didn't even last 310 days to get your one percent daily if you weren't sharing links so what so it's not apples and apples when it comes to tron and ether chain and all that or eth i mean and so every so in, in general when you look at this anything that's copied ethereum gold has um even cloned it hasn't succeeded so what makes this any different just because it has gold to it and ethereum gold is highly successful i doubt it but anyhow let's go back to uh ether chain now just wanted to throw that out there because you know everybody's going to tron oh and tron this tron that but look at the current market price Despite all the volume and activity that's gone, look at that. It's, it's falling almost back to a penny. And all that penny movement. And, and you know what? It is a psychological thinking, right? Because you're thinking about, you know, you, you own so much of the shit coins that it makes you think in your mind that, oh, man, I have a lot of it. And it just makes you feel good that you own so much of it right a hundred thousand tron oh man it sounds a lot but that's a lot of pennies you know so just saying i mean everybody's moving to tron but oh yeah it's super fast but man it's super shit i mean that's a whole lot of them to throw around so uh now let me go back you know i keep shifting around all right so let me provide further information by Andreas here so let's see if I, I gotta find it first you know I'm, I'm just loaded full of information here we go so dear ether chainers today's a very sad day for our eclipse city community ether chain was crippled by the high gas fees community stock growth and the balance ether chain has now officially gone to zero they said there's a 20 minute video in ether chain group that explains this in detail and what will happen um, steps were already put into motion to refund all members who did not receive 100% of the initial capital will be done as to make sure no one goes with the loss. Uh, no one will be left behind from ether chain. So if you deposited 10 ETH and you received nine so far, you'll, you'll get one ETH back to complete what you deposited here, babe, is pretty much what they said. They said they're using their admin fee from Tron chain. And from there, um, they're just kind of spreading that out. So, you know, they're, they're focusing on Tron Chain, Cyber Chain, all that stuff. And they said that when Ethereum 2.0 comes out, that they're going to come back with Ether Chain 2.0. So that's what they're saying. But are they going to do it? That's the question. You know, um, I was pretty much to clarify everything. So, for example, I've never pulled out anything. So, I should be able to get 
the original uh, five ETH back that I put in. Yeah, I guess if I continue pulling out at the time, I would have been up just a little bit, you know, 6.15. But, you know, it's all right. Um, it, I guess as long as I get five ETH, then I guess we're good. But, you know, it just sucks that, you know, everybody's trying to shift to Tron. <laughs> Coincidentally, as, uh, especially with Ether Chain, as gas prices have gone down, people were pulling out like crazy. And look at it. They thought this thing was going to drain in a couple of days, and it drained within hours. Um, so, I don't know. It's just, you know, when it comes, this, this proves that MLM dApps don't work. You know, it doesn't matter how good of a plan is laid out. These sort of dApps didn't work. I kept on shooting at ether share and no one wanted to believe it especially your boy dt out there that you know that said the sources indicate to me that that uh um, you know because I, I was trying to shoot him down on his claims about the sustainability of ether share and that crashed and burned despite him trying to provide so-called facts and plus, his shitty TA is just terrible anyway. So, I mean, he's just a terrible YouTuber across the board. And so, when you have that, and this proves again, let's face it. This is, MLM dApps don't work. They just suck. People are getting skimmed out of Forsage. And people don't realize it because, you know, whether you believe in how big the contract is or not, the people are talking more and more about how they're not receiving their divs or, you know, you're supposed to level up every time if you want to, you know, achieve more and all that. And it's just a lot of work for nothing. Why? Why do all that work for this sort of thing when you could just be in here, right, when it comes to Ethereum Gold? This does all the work for you. You put it in and it, and check this out, look at this, USD focused and or ETH focused. Pretty cool. I like that little switch over option here. Um, but yeah, so you got that going on and I don't know, to say that you got two contracts and if it's, you know, Tron chain is saying 1% for 310 days and Ether chain is is 1% for 310 days, which one would I pick? I would pick the one because it has a uh, Tron because it's lower gas fees, blah, 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 blah. But it's like, really? I don't know. I I'm still going to ride high on Ethereum no matter what because, again, Tron is just a shit coin. And speaking of shit coins, yeah, let's go to this one here. I love trashing on shit coins like this one right here. But let me refresh this. I want to make sure I give you the most current price up to date all right as i've been saying this shit coin is closer to its all-time low than its all-time high look at that all-time low 375 right 375 and this is 0828 i mean it's closer to the all-time low so uh yeah mass adoption i think uh if if uh, Nigeria really, really wants to look into something, this is something they should just shelve and move on from. There's no way this will trigger anything out there whatsoever. And then speaking of shit coins and being wrecked, it's funny how Kiwi out there hasn't talked about you know trading ever since he started doing the copy trading. It's funny how you do copy trading and you got wrecked that's just a flat out let's just you know face it dude you got wrecked because you copy traded your dude bitcoin had a, a pretty sizable drop in the market for that one particular week and ever since then you want to take a break once again for like what the fourth fifth time sixth time you've taken a break from trading because of the fact that this time your copy trading tactic got wrecked 
And from that, when you look at it, it it's funny that you're all gung-ho about it, and now you, it, it's zero. Talk about zero of it. And the whole thing about mind capital this, mind capital that, you're going to pull everything out. You backtracked on that. Oh, and now mind capital is like the best thing in the world, you know. And, and so I'm still waiting to see this whole, uh, you know, um, final mente and tribute to final mente and tribute to, uh, you know, what's his name behind final mente. I, I can't wait for that one. It's going to be, it's going to be funny. And speaking of funny, you know, going back to here in YouTube land, the promises of Mr. MC out there week. I'm going to do a weekly series on cash effects. Man, you can't even keep up to that because you really got no content. You're struggling for content. And so, uh, let's, you know, I mean, let's face it, you know, you just suck. And that's just plain and simple as that. I know I'm. It's 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 kind of a thing that I'm doing today. I guess it all goes back to um, you know, in in the crypto space, who's a dick series that nobody crypto did, and I'm I gonna continue on the series. <laughs> uh, if he wants to, that's cool. You know, I, I want him to, but at the same time, I, I like to add on to that, and so. I'm just kind of ranting along because I'm just seeing stuff out there that just, it, it boggles the mind, you know, and, you know, I, I see the DeFi space still pumping and dumping, still ruining people, and, uh, but it's, it's just going to happen until you get a whole lot of that, um, you know, run out of the space. And lastly wanted to touch on this one this has been an intergalactic disappointment when you look at it right intergalactic disappointment i mean you figured there'd be more to this with all the hype you know this is a this is the you know first of its kind staking with DeFi. you know the the, the key word here DeFi. you know the you know DeFi e smart contract i mean it has all the buzzwords in there, and you figure there'd be more to it, but I don't know. To me, it's been, no one's been talking about it ever since it launched. I mean, uh, this has been, Interstellar has been an intergalactic disappointment. But I keep saying it, that it's still more than what FOT has right now, which doesn't say very much either way, but... You know, just ribbon out there. So, yeah, I just wanted to get this off my chest. I feel like I had to, to voice all this and continue to trash those YouTubers that are just, you know, boggles the mind sometimes. And, fu and it's funny because those three that I've been honed in on in the Dick's of this space series it's funny that they're former arb tarts well i mean I, I guess you could say i i don't know i mean i was part of it i would never done youtube videos on it but i used to be in arbitraging but i'm not like what they were they're so gung-ho they're so dp this and and uh, now that they are you know no longer part of this whole arbitraging team they have splintered off into their own paths of, you know, cheesiness and just trash. It just, they just, they just suck. They're terrible. But I don't know. I just feel like I just had to do this today. And, you know, it's Monday morning. And on the flip side, I got a lot of things more I'm going to talk about. Stuff that's been going on on my side of the crypto land. And the, the, vibe, the vibe diversification that I'm in. And so stay tuned for more as I got more to talk about. And so other than that, I got links down below for everything I'm in. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about what's been going on in this space. And uh, other than that, I will see you in the next one.